Hey everybody, welcome back to Strange Horticulture for Day 9. Let's, let's take a look at this card. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. In In Tibet, northeast, south, south, west, south, south. Is Tibet a place? Tibet, to, there's Tibet. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. So, north, east, south, south, west, south, south. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swaths of purple heather, and there another. Okay, two new plants, thank you. I suppose there's anything like in the book that you can look at with this thing, right? Anything that might say like long meg. I don't know why it doesn't seem like that way. That is true, and I'm not going to waste any more time. Okay. Who's going to come to my door now? Hello, Simone, again. Long Meg? Sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. Okay, so it's not something we should have known by now. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late nights to the library taking their toll. Well, I have seen fever kiss. It's right here. And we got the book entry for Mountain a, s a Story. All right, thanks. Hello, Mr. Mailman. There's talk around town of a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. Yeah, I've seen her. She's come to the shop a few times. There's all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. Beck foot candle? I don't understand what Kent me or I means. Now you want me to find Beckfoot Candle? Is Beckfoot a place? There's Beckfoot. Is there a candle nearby? I mean, I'll go to Beckfoot, but I don't know if that's going to help. I find myself outside a beautiful house almost hidden in overgrown, overgrown foliage. A deep hum of bees suggests a hive is nearby, and a heavily laden apple tree leans ten ten temptingly from the other side of a high wall. I would dearly love to stay and explore the gardens of this hidden sanctuary, but I do not have the time. Well, I don't know what that was supposed to be telling me. What is the Beckfoot candle? Hello, forest? You have quite green eyes. I've been talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I can about the this beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. I don't know anything about a beast. In the old world, they called this thing the Servant. But the people here seem to have forgotten that name. Um, are you the beast? Except the group calls themselves the Seeds of Redemption. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear that they want me to stay away from the Servant. Yeah, they're a cult. I've been avoiding them. They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My Dranthium supplies are low. I need more. Okay, we did find that, but I didn't identify it at the time. It was on the grave. A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale smoke from burning its sharp or long, sharp leaves elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. Some know, know Dranthium as Green Eye. You have green eyes. A name derived from the telltale signs of overdose, where even the whites of the eyes take on a green tint. 
Sir, I, I don't know if I should give you this because clearly, clearly you have a problem, man. But you know what? I'm just going to fail if I don't give it to you. So long, sharp leaves. This has long leaves. Are they sharp? Increasingly sharp edges? Yeah, here you go. Here's your Dranthium, sir. Don't sue me when you overdose again. Book entry on Palliance. Alright, I have the will again, but... Beckfoot Candle? What do you mean, Beckfoot Candle? Nothing around that's a candle. I mean... Candle starts with C. And if I go from Beckfoot up to row C, I don't think that's very helpful. But I'll do it, because it's not gonna hurt me. Nothing here. Okay. Yep. Um. Alright. I crept around Black Comb two nights ago in the pitch black. That eye bright is some potent stuff. Well, I'm glad you... Glad it helped you, sir. I can see clear as day. Up on the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Yeah, I already found that. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerie silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Alright, so do you need some medicine to calm your nerves? Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise, like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistakably animal. High on the ridgeline, I saw a cowled woman wearing a jade mask watching me, and beside her, something dark, inhuman, and bloody huge. Is that the servant? I know you're... I know the lady with the jade mask. I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. I need to speak to Verona again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild coal for my pounding head. You'd, you'd have been out drinking too if you'd seen what I did, okay? Some wild coal, sir? The purple berries are recommended by physicians in place of a hair of the dog. Mentality as a tonic for those suffering the effects of having drunk too much the night before. There are some who consider wild coal a sacred plant, perhaps owing to its rarity, and claim that it's bad luck to pick berries from it. Well, berries that kind of are in a cluster. Is there some berries in a cluster? No. I mean, the only thing that I have that has berries, sir... I don't think I have anything that has berries like that. Purple berries. I don't know if I have anything that has purple berries. Not in that manner. Do I have it? Can I take the hint? There are some buttons with strange symbols on them hidden on my desk. Okay, well what the heck does that mean? I I know that we have the button with the strange symbols. But I've tried pressing them. And I know I have the cards, but I don't know... Like, what order they go in. Oh, hold on. Can I see them? I keep, keep pressing it until one of them is not blue. Okay, that doesn't help. Alright, I'm gonna need another hint game. I'm sorry, I just don't know what you want me. Want from me. And there's nothing on the page for Wild Coal. What do you want from me? I Like, am I supposed to know about this Baylox elixir? Or from my, am I supposed to know what the... Kent Mere Eye means? Give me another hint, please, game. The symbols on those buttons on my desk look like the ones on these scraps of paper. Yes, I know. I've tried pressing them. Like, you don't want me to, like, actually place them here, right?
yeah, I don't, I don't know. Is it something to do with this other thing that I have? I don't know what this thing is. But clearly that's not it. Alright game, give me another hint. I hate to do it, but give me the next hint. The scraps of paper can be arranged to make a code. I wonder what happens if I enter that code using the buttons on my desk. I know, but in what order? And that's all. Like, I don't have more information. feels like it's just not is it something to do with this do I have to put them in but none of these match up with this what does that game want from me there's nothing on these scraps of paper that tell me what order and also I still don't know what this is Alright, I'm kind of stumped. And I... These scraps of paper can be arranged to make a code. I don't know, my dude. Do the papers, like, line up? Is it the, like actually putting the papers together oh my gosh it actually is it's lining up the stupid rips on the paper that is pretty unexpected i mean it's clever but it's unexpected I guess it's that. Alright, well, let's see what we got then. This guy's just sitting here patiently waiting while I figure out what the heck is happening. Alright, I got some more stuff. You can go away. I feel really bad for you, Mr. Ward, that you're just standing there. Got a coin from 1813. From Gosforth. Sorry, I suddenly have the sneezes. Robert Barrow's Medicinal Herbology. Blackhall Road, Road Kendall. Devil's Nightcap, Trimblehuff, a Briar's Disc, often called a Smuggler's Disc. This is that thing right there, I guess. It's a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. The location of cached cargo, for example. The principle is stunningly straightforward, but the code is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in a possession of a disc of identical size with the same symbols etched around the edges and a map. I do have a map. Sorry, I got the sneezes and my cat wants to jump up on the desk. To encode a location, you would then place the disc over some named point on the map nearby. Oh, candle! The candle, the eye, okay. 
may, may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but you can use this method to reach any other point on the map. Sorry, sir, I have to go on a journey right now, so, um... You just hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna go on a journey. The Kent Mirror. The Kent Mirror Eye is pointing to maybe here, depending on where I place the thing. If I point it in the center. I pointed on the square that Kentmere is on. Okay, let's try here. Kentmere Eye. I got a plant. Okay. From Kentmere, I follow the bearings of the eye and end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The woods are thick with briar and brambles, but amongst the tangled undergrowth, a type of flower is flourishing. Oh, those look like purple berries. Those look like purple berries. Is that your, um, your wild coal? Purple red berries? Purple berries? Alright, sir, hopefully this is it and I'm not poisoning you. Here you go. Finally, and we have the page for Norwood. All right. Well, we know that we can go to the other place, Blackwood, but whatever. But we don't have. Sorry, the, sorry, sorry. My cat is destroying the microphone. All right. We don't have the will yet, so let's talk to somebody else. Well, this looks like the right place. I don't want to traipse all over the way. Didn't I don't want to have to traipse all over all the way over to Red Pike. So hopefully you've got what I'm after. It's a non-flowering plant with smallish leaves, and it seems to grow mostly on Red Pike. At least that's the only place I've found it. Yeah, will we know what that is? We've seen it? Hold on. Something about Red Pike. Red Pike, the common trouse. Non-flowering plant. Yeah, okay, I got it. Hold on, lady. The common trouse is right here. Here you go, that's it. That's what you want. Alright, now we have the will. Let's put you away. Let's... Have my cat absolutely get in the way as much as possible. And now we need Beckfoot Candle. Beckfoot. Beckfoot, Beckfoot, Beckfoot. Again, was where? Beckfoot. Beckfoot Candle leads me around about here towards Seafell Pike. The candle leads me east of Wastewater, or Wastwater, to the north the mighty Scalfell Pike graces the sky, the tallest peak in England. The challenge beckons to me, perhaps another time. And now we got a another very weird plant. We'll shuffle things to where they should go. All right, new guest. Poor Reuben. He looks a little worse for wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died and never did quite give up the drink. I think I know what ritual was performed at the Stone Circle. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Did they summon the servant? Someone called to something across the void and tried to bring it here, and with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say they succeeded. And then the gilded dendra, that really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's bestiary, a light, little light reading for you. 
I'm headed to Grizzledale Forest again. The Sisterhood will know more. All right, it has known, it has many names. Some call it the Woken Dan Dendru, believing it to be related in some way to the deadly Gilded Dendro plant. Others call it the Night Stalker, the Miasma, or the Dread. But the most common name for it in the Shires is the Servant. You'll have heard of it in children's songs such as Keep the Fire Burning and Servant and Master, and there are hints of it in the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. Uh, well, somebody has. The man that's been drinking all day. It is said that the dead ground... The dead ground? The dead ground northeast of Tebei, where nothing but black digitus mortis grows, was caused when the servant last walked over our lands a hundred years ago. The dead ground northeast of Tebei. Can we, can we get to that? Like... There's just dead ground northeast of Tebei. What if I just walk out to it? Like, how how much northeast of Tebei? The wide area of blackened ground here is known, as the, known to the locals as Dead Man's Field. Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil like fingers reaching from the grave. Alright, uh, let's not talk about that plant. We're just not even going to mention that plant. Okay, thank you. And let's end the day. Oh, it's just blank. Every day she attentively followed the teachings of the Arda. Every day she patiently performed the tasks given to her. Every day thoughts of the book itched away at the back of her mind. Alright, well, I don't know what good a blank card is. Oh, there's something on it. A secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. Okay, well, we'll figure that out in the next episode. So, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you again next time.